recording failed. Hooray! So basically, welcome back to another episode of Hollow Knight. Let's hope my game capture doesn't fail on me again. Last time, we defeated the very first boss of the game, the False Knight, who was simply a maggot in disguise. And just recently, off camera, when my recording failed, we obtained the Vengeful Spirit. It is a blast that deals, I believe, three times the damage of our current nail and uses one unit of soul. Just like every other soul spell. We also met the snail shaman who gave it to us, and now we are trapped here, forced to fight little balders, because there's apparently a treasure down here waiting for us. I'm getting slightly used to being able to play with a keyboard as opposed to a controller, but still pretty rusty. Over here we have a large soul totem. I never really explained what these things do. They're basically amount they're basically give you free soul. And the size of them depends on how much soul they can give you. I've seen them give anywhere from three to five. But I think there's like a hidden one later in the game that'll give you an infinite amount. Uh, you know, I thought that would be useful. But I guess it's not. Do we have some more lifeblood? Let's just venture onward. Does this guy look familiar? He's completely invincible, isn't he? Or... Or is he? Remember the ability that we just got? That's right. We can finally kill this dude. And granted, we still have to... <sighs> fight the balders that he spits at us. Which is a challenge in and of itself. Finally! That was dangerously close. And here we have our very first charm Soul Catcher. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting at a bench. Hello, Mr. Shales. Snail Shaman. Oh, so it's done then. You've slain the beast. The poor thing. It must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You made me... You... You, you have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. Oh, ho, ho. And look gate between us is open, do ho ho! I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell, and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, I, it will find you, oh ho ho! So let's equip that charm that we just got. To equip a charm, in the charms menu while we're sitting at a bench. Press I to open our inventory. Here we can find... Well, our charms. And we can equip it using Z, which soul catcher, used by shaman, shamans to draw more soul from the world around them. 
increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with the nail. In our inventory, we can also find our inventory, where we see all of our items, spells, and weapons. You can also see the map. And finally, background charms. So let's venture onward, see what more we can do with our brand new ability, Vengeful Spirit. Open the gate, and oh, Cornifer's gone. Sorry if I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dortmouth? Dirtmouth, not Dortmouth. Dortmouth. Haha, <laughs> got him. Store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area. Available now for an excellent price. Cornifer. His name last episode was never actually officially revealed. And I spoiled it for you all. Guess I know too much about this game. The so last episode I also was saying that I am very bad at parkour. That doesn't mean I'm god awful at it. There we go. Nice. Go this way. That is acid. Let's go back. Because I'm not sure we can actually do anything over there yet. Oh, I should. I have enough money to buy a compass now. Maybe, maybe we could do that too. going. I think I have to go up. Yes. Yes, I do. I do have to go up. Up, up, up. Isn't there something over here? No, there's not. I'm just being a big old dingus. Over here. Actually, no, let's go play the compass. Haha! Did you see that, my guy? I'm going the wrong way. Hopefully you guys can actually hear my voice now because I noticed while viewing the last video that my voice was completely drowned out by the audio in the game, especially during the false night. So I turned it down to about half, and here is Isilda. Come to buy a map, have you? It's only my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise, he's headed down below. He'll pop back, he'll pop back occasionally to del deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I have not much interest in retail myself. Well, let's see what what's here for me to sell. Here we can finally buy the compass. But 
but we can also buy a quill, which allows us to fill in new areas of our map that Cornifer has not yet. All of these are pins, which I do not have enough money to buy all of them. And if I want to buy one of them, I want to buy all of them. So for now, let's save our money. And check our map. I don't have it equipped yet. <sighs> first things first. Look who it is! Since we saved the grub, the grub father will thank us for our efforts by paying us the best reward ever. Bye-bye, grubs. They are so adorable and you will love them and you will protect them. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hallownest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at the kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. Just gotta fight this guy again. I think he has like one, le one hit left. Just spit your baby at me. Ow. There we go. Finally. Can make our way right straight into the acid. Just some I'm gonna die, aren't I? To a brand new world. Or not really world, but brand new area. Welcome to Green Path. So I believe that we are coming up on the 15 minute time limit, which totally s screwed me over last episode because I tried to record 25 minutes, but uh-oh, that's too long for YouTube. We're coming up on about the time limit, so let me find the nearest bench. And I think we'll call it an episode. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next episode when we venture onward into the rest of the Green Path.